My research is the um, stroke. It's um, experimental stroke with a translational edge, which means that um, the goal of the, the research is to find a mechanism, a new mechanism of um, some aspects of stroke and then try to develop a new therapy that can be introduced into the clinic. The greatest challenges in stroke, I would say, is in, is in four areas. One is prevention, to prevent stroke. The other one is recanalization, to um, uh, allow blood to, uh, to open up the vessels and uh, reperfuse areas where, where no blood has been present for some time, and then to protect the brain after, after stroke. Uh, and finally, the fourth area is rehabilitation and brain repair. So in, in the area where I work is in, in the repair area, and that area is to find uh, new ways to reactivate the tissue that remains after a stroke, once damage has matured and the damaged tissue is removed. It's, it's seldom that you actually do a, a, a discovery yourself. It's, it's something that is going on in a research community and then you're part and providing a building block to, to, to this discovery. And that is, I would say, uh, the importance of decreasing uh, brain temperature uh, by a couple of degrees, which provides a robust protection. Uh, we and, and uh, American scientists could demonstrate that decreasing uh, brain temperature by three degrees robustly protected the brain against cardiac arrest-induced damage. Uh, Fifteen years later, this is now introduced in the clinic and used in almost all Swedish hospitals as a standard treatment for cardiac arrest patients. And there is a big European clinical trial going on right now in stroke patients. So I would say that that is something that I've been part of from the beginning to, to the clinical impl implementation. The short-term goal of uh, our research and in, in, of my research group here, and uh, we are a couple of people working on it, is trying to revive and reactivate uh, the surviving tissue after a stroke. So once a patient has suffered a stroke, tissue is lost and function is lost. But what is also evident is that the remaining tissue of the injured part of the brain um, is depressed. Somehow activity in this part of the brain is decreased but we have now quite clear evidence that it is possible to reactivate and make use of this tissue to compensate for the tissue lost. And uh, right now we are working with a couple of pharmacological tools that can be uh, important and can be successful in, in, in this, in, in this uh, quest. The long-term goals of my research uh, during my lifetime, I suppose it's my lifetime as a researcher, uh, is to uh, introduce the findings and the new therapies we have discovered in the preclinical pre research and, and the experimental research into a, a clinical trial. And I think that is feasible, actually. My driving force in research is absolutely the fact that you see new things every time you do, you come to the lab. I am actually working in the lab with practical research, so I'm, I'm, I have a look on, on data as they emerge. And the feeling of, of seeing new, new data, some surprising, some depressing, is an, um, a merry-go-round or whatever you call it ups and downs, <laughs> uh, and that's great fun.